Hell, hello everyone, so welcome to Bandis the Show, where I take a look at a piece of art and make a stupid ridiculous argument as to why some stupid ridiculous people think it'd be a good idea to either outright ban or at least make some good choice of guts. And today, I am looking at John Waters. Post polyester John Waters, so it doesn't revel in offensiveness as his earlier films does, but I can still talk about this. It'll be an easy one. If I go into the mindset as to uh, what when he uh, would have gone with the, the Hayes cult from the 30s, you know, through the 60s, well, mainly late 30s to the earlier 50s it started you know crumbling around for the last couple decades but it was still kind of there but anyways I'm gonna be talking about serial mom now for this one I'm going to have to go into spoilers so if you don't want any spoilers well you're gonna have to miss my argument but if you want to check it out, I mean, it's kind of a fun film. I found it enjoyable enough. Anyway, so... Our main character, the titular serial mom, well, she goes on and, you know, she kills some people, she gets caught, and then there is a, uh, a trial. She represents herself without any lawyer, and uh, she wins the case. So, and with the, how the Hayes Code worked is that uh, any crime showing the perpetrator must not get away with it under the idea that somebody might try to emulate it. So that's where I'm going with this, because she's definitely guilty, because we see her doing all of the murders, but she wins, and you know, she, and after that, with the whole double jeopardy thing, she goes right back to killing somebody, like, immediately after the trial, like, in front of everybody. <laughs> Oh, some of the things she presents, I really don't think they would hold up in court at all, but for comedic effect, it works. Like they're trying to shock the jury as to, you know, what the... What should be a... Not defendant. For lack of a better term, <laughs> my uh, legalese is slipping me. From, so, for lack of a better term, I'm just going to go with the opposing force. But so, because you know, she like you know points out like, hey, come on, this guy he likes his trannies and, and shocks everyone. It, it, it's stupid, but it's funny. Anyways, so yeah, that's where I'm going. The fact that she gets away with the crime and the possibility of somebody trying to emulate what she does in the trial to get away with murder. So, all right. I think I think I said enough for that. What do I actually think of this movie? Well, I can't say for your friends and neighbors yet. I haven't watched that one, but it is my favorite of the three on this set. It's, it's funny, it's amusing, it's, you know, it's John Waters, you know, it's over-the-top, crazy, silly, slightly offensive, but not as much as his earlier days. Like I said, this is post-polyester, so, you know, he was working more on Hollywood system, so uh, he didn't quite have as much free range, and uh, also Divine is dead at this point, so... It's hard to have a John Waters film without Divine, but you gotta do what you gotta do.
Oh, my favorite bit here is the Flash for Frankenstein bit. Uh, one of the kills, it's in a bathroom. She, you know, spears somebody and, like, part of the liver sticks out on the other side, you know. It's a callback to Flesh for Frankenstein. In fact, we see that bit played in the film because uh, there are two characters and they're really into horror and presumably considering that they are watching Flesh for Frankenstein video nasties. So they like horror. And uh, this kind of portrays people who like horror in kind of a, generally, from what I can tell, a kind of realistic light. You know, that we can enjoy on-screen violence if we know it's fake. But if we see somebody actually getting murdered in front of us, no, we're not going to dig that. And yeah, we're going to be freaking out and getting our asses out of there. <laughs> so... Anyways, yeah, th this is a fun little film, right from the beginning, when, when she kills the fly on. I enjoyed it. It was enjoyable. Very fun. If you like black comedies, and I don't mean that in a racial sense, that's what these things are called, black comedies, as in a comedy that deals with dark situations. I'm not talking about Tyler Perry here when I say that. you might want to check this out. So, yeah. Eh, I think I went on long enough. I didn't get to a 10 minute mark, but eh, I don't really care at this point. I say when I'm done with the video, I'm done with the video regardless of length. And I think, I think I made my points and I think I made it clear that I enjoy this film enough. And uh, yeah, so far, I'm my favorite film in this little set. And uh, my least favorite would be Very Bad Things. Although, Nurse Betty was kind of forgettable. Except I know Morgan Freeman's in it. The fact that Morgan Freeman is in it is the only thing I really remember. Okay, I remember the plot and everything, but yeah, didn't stick out to me as much as Serial Mom. You know, she, you know, it's, she's, you know, kind of has the, you know, the classic 50s housewife vibe to it. It takes place in modern times, but, you know, she gives off that aurora while, you know, she's going on and killing a bunch of people, you know, that are, you know, might threaten her secret or just people she doesn't like in general. It's... Fun little film. I, I recommend it. So, and uh, this is a kind of a little thing, you know, a memorabilia collector. You gave me the idea because you mentioned it in a previous comment in one of my videos. And I was like, I have that film. Yeah, I think I'll, that'll be one of my next ones. And it'll be an easy one to make an argument for. I don't have to go through a bunch of gy mental gymnastics to really figure it out. It was easy. It's not like, you know, trying to get offended at, like, I don't know, a Disney movie or something. Although it seems to be happening, considering how much Disney Plus is censoring their movies. It's insane. Alright, well, yeah, that's it for this one. I will see you next one. So, uh, take care, everyone. And God bless. Stop, unless I want to ramble on for 30 seconds to get that 10 minute mark and then call it quits. Eh, I made it this far, less than 30 seconds. What can I ramble on about? Um, what can I say about Serial Mom that I haven't already said? Um, um, hmm, I can't think of anything. I'm just stalling now. Alright, it's good enough. By the time I hit that stop mark, the stop button, I'll be good. So, yeah. Anyways, as I got saying before, take care and God bless.